This prison is throwing open its gates, not for its 1,400 inmates to leave, but so that members of the public can catch a glimpse of life behind bars. It's one of 10 facilities in Poland hosting open days in February. Prison authorities are implementing more and more resocialization programs. We bring in people from the outside and we put prisoners in touch with various institutions to help them reintegrate more easily upon their release. This is the fourth time Robert has been incarcerated. So far, the 38-year-old has spent a total 12 years in prison and still has eight to go. Over the last two years, he's developed a passion for painting thanks to a special program for prisoners. Years ago, wardens just wanted prisoners to sit quietly in their cells and serve out their sentences without incident. Now, I have access to books and the arts. It all helps to keep me busy and to feel like I'm doing something with my life. Some visitors feel that prisoners are benefiting from far too many privileges. I'm shocked that we spend $700 per month to keep a prisoner while orphanages get a pittance. Here they have new computers, beautiful rooms. They can get an education while some children aren't entitled to anything because they're from poor families. It's shocking. With 80,000 prisoners in a country of 38 million people, Poland has one of the largest prison populations in the European Union. Human rights groups say that the 153 prison facilities across the country are overcrowded. In Poland, there are 40,000 people sentenced to prison terms who are not serving their time due to lack of space. New EU rules could make matters even worse. As of December 2016, Poland will have to accommodate up to 10,000 Polish prisoners serving sentences in fellow EU member states.